Welcome back, Capricorn. I hope y'all doing good. So let's see what's going on with Capricorn this week. Remember, everybody, I could be picking up on you on Capricorn. I could be picking up on Cross Watch or somebody that wants to watch, you know, your reading. It could be an ex. It could be somebody, you know, that wants to see your reading, a family member, a friend, you know, a third party. A third party could mean family members, friends, it, but it could usually always be... You know, your person, your ex, whoever you were dealing with, whoever you're dealing with, you know, things like that. So, help me thumbs up these videos so we can um, circulate through YouTube because sometimes spirit, and I'm seeing it, they're coming back to repeating themselves. And, you know, they know who's going to watch this. And, you know, until they don't get to everybody they want to get to, spirit does that. They will tend to repeat themselves. So... We're all doing this together. Help me thumbs up these videos, copies. Let's do this. Come on, let's see what's going on with Capricorns. Let's see. What's going on with Capricorns? Blinding lights. Why did I just hear that? Blinding lights. What is the... Oh, I don't know why I keep on hearing blinding lights. What is the overall energy for Capricorn? What is... Okay, Capricorn. You made a turn here or something towards someone and try to some start something new is what I'm picking up here, okay? Take it how it hits you. And, you know, with the Nine of Wands, it's like you're tired. You're tired of trying. You're tired of, you know, giving yourself. You're trying. You're tired of building. You're trying. You're, why do I keep on saying trying? And it's not trying. It's trying. That's weird. And I also picked up on, what did I say? Um... Blinding lights or something? I don't know. It might be a confirmation. I'll pick it up later. Okay. I feel like you're tired. You know, you're tired of trying. You're tired of, you know, giving it one more chance. And you're standing with the Queen of Wands. Okay? I feel like you made a turn here, you know, to be with someone. And it was, a, it was like deceitful for you. It was like... You weren't happy with the situation. You weren't happy how this person came at you. You weren't happy how this person made it seem everything was going to be so good. And, you know, they were confident. And you were confident. And everything was going together. And I feel like this person stood their ground for some reason and walked away. And I feel like you've been thinking so much about what happened here. And about moving forward. And about, you know, commitments. Whatever it is. I feel like you're just tired. And you're just thinking and thinking and thinking. And you can't stop thinking. It's like, you know, you're thinking a lot. You don't know if to move forward. You don't know if to, move, you know, stay still, move backwards. You don't know what to do. Because I feel like every time that you stand in confidence and I'm going to do this, you know, and I'm going to, you know, hit a relationship or whatever it is, family members, friends, or whatever it is, something happens, okay? For the most part, I feel like you're trying here still. Hold on a minute. What else for Capricorn? You're trying still. For some reason, might be a person you're still trying to um, be with. Listen, you're moving forward with the Ace of Coins. I mean, I feel like money's going to come into you. I, I don't know why I always say into you, but I don't like saying that. But I feel like money's coming your way, stability in some sort of way. Okay? Or to your family, just like that. But I feel like money's coming your way. I feel like you're trying to stabilize your, your life. I feel like you're trying to make things right. I feel like you're trying to, you know, do your own thing at this time. I don't feel like, even though you're thinking a lot about someone here, because you're obviously thinking about someone here. You're standing your ground. You're standing firm. You're standing stable. You're standing in your confidence. But there's something that's secretly hidden here. There's something that you are trying to find out here, Capricorn. I'm picking up very clearly. And I feel like this person, for the most part, was a person that's very materialistic is what I'm picking up here. A person that if you didn't move this way, 
with money, stability, and mostly money is what I'm picking up. It's a person that uses people for money. It's a person that if you don't give, they're not going to give no matter what, but if you don't give, it's like you're out of there. You feel me? What a fucking energy. Like, what the fuck? This person is very selfish. Hold on a minute. What else for Capricorn here? Maybe that's why you're standing your ground and being so confident. And you might have gotten nasty with this person, but you still think about this person. It's like you don't stop thinking about what happened here. Look, you're stuck. And the two of swords. You're not seeing in front of you. You're not seeing around you. You're not seeing behind you. Some of you are stuck here. You know, you're in pain. It's like this person put you through some type of hell. And that's why I see you thinking so much. It's like you try to stand up and, you know, build confidence to let this person in. And I feel like this person moved down to somebody else that's going to give them abundance. That's going to give them stability. That's going to give them what they want. Not what they need. What they motherfucking want. This person's very selfish. And right now, they left you on the Two of Swords, meaning you're going through it. You're still, you can't move. You know, you have a blindfold. You're not seeing what's in front of you. You might not even seen this yet. You know, I might even know that this person is playing you like this yet. But I feel like intuitively, you're picking it up because it's like you're tired of trying. It's like you're tired of the arguments. You're tired of the fighting. You're tired of, you're tired of trying to give what you can't give. It's like, I feel like this person is asking a lot from you. I feel like this person is a person that asks for a lot. Even though you don't have it, they don't understand it. You feel me? Like, people are very selfish nowadays. And I'm picking up this energy to be very selfish. Like, if you don't fucking have it, you better find it. You feel me? And for some of you, they go really, really slowly, very secretly, and give you little hints here and there. Oh, I need this. I need that. I don't know how I'm going to get it, but I know I'll get it. You feel me? And there you go. You know what? I'll get it for you. That's their intention. That was their intention for you to give them stuff. This person is very money hungry, whoever you were dealing with here. It might be the past. You might be going through this right now. But you're standing at the Queen of Wands. You're going to get real nasty with this person. And I see a lot of shit going down if you get nasty. Hold on, Capricorn. What else for Capricorn here, Minera? What else? It's like you're trying to get revenge on this person. Yeah, the King of Wands is like a face-to-face, -face, like... Listen, it's like you both have the same energy. I'm not saying that you're like this person. That's not what I'm saying. It's like you're both right now in this position. The king of wands and the queen of wands. Male or female, male or male, female or female, whatever it is. This is both your energies right now. Very confident, very nasty, very sneaky. You don't want to take shit. They don't want to take shit. It's like a person doesn't see eye to eye with another person. You feel me? And I feel like this person has picked up your energy in some way or the other. And I feel like they're ready for you to confront them. Whatever you got to say, they're going to go back fire at you. They don't give a fuck. They're going to make a turn the way that they want to turn. You feel me? This person is very selfish. This person had you in a position believing things that they were saying that were not true. You know, and trying to move things that you couldn't move. You feel me? And for the most part, this person stuck as well. But this person is very deceiving. Very deceiving. A person that knew what they were doing since the beginning. You might have met this person new. Or this might be a past person. But I feel like the per this person, the moment they met you, they knew what the fuck they were doing. They were in this energy when they met you, too. And I feel like you brought them a lot of, like, you know, turning points is what I'm picking up. You brought them a lot of turning points. You made this person happy. You made this person, you know, feel like they could do it. They could move forward. They could, you know, keep on going. You gave this person support. You gave this person hope. And this person just backstabbed the fuck out of you. And they're ready. They don't give a fuck. How you come, who you come with, how you bring it, they're ready for you to go face to face with them. They don't care. This person's a very, very man. 
I don't like this energy. Hold on a minute. But at the end of the day, listen how that wheel turns. Look at this. The tower. I'm telling you, there's going to be chaos with this person. Whoever this person is that you were dealing with, Capricorn, or that you're dealing with, that is so money hungry, that left you thinking, that left you thinking everything they promised was not true. They left you thinking. They left you heartbroken. They left you stuck there. The evilness that I see in this person's eyes is just like, what the fuck? Like, bitch, are you serious? They're going to cause a really bad problem for you. Okay? You're trying to move forward, and all they do is get in your way and cause problems. No matter how it goes. I feel like this person has you wrapped up in some type of way. They have you wrapped up in some type of way. And every time you try to move forward, it's like the fuckery comes in. You feel me? It's like they take you back to this place of thinking. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it with this person. I'm going to get to this person. We're going to build. We're going to be together. No, they're sneaking around. They don't give three fucks. This person is very creepy and very mysterious and very secretly. Doing things secretly behind your back. This person, wherever they go, they cause problems. There's a chaotic shit going on with this person everywhere they go. It's like this person doesn't know nothing but trouble. Nothing but fights. Nothing but drama. Nothing but causing drama to people. Nothing but leaving people in this energy. Heartbroken or thinking. It's a person that wants only money. Money is their only interest. They don't give a fuck about nothing but money. And they're not going to get nowhere. Because when they try to hit that abundance, this tower is going to hit them right in their fucking ass. For being so selfish. For being such, you know, assholes. I was going to say something else, but I'm not going to say it. But whoever you were dealing with here, Capricorn, whoever you're dealing with, and they promised you, you know, let's build together, let's work together, let's build a foundation together, let's build a home together, let's, you know, chill together, I'm going to be with you, whatever it was, they were lying to you. They even promised you money. <laughs> I'm here, <laughs> bro, like I can't, my feather feel like go. Like they even promised you that you could build with them. That they could help you build. That they would help you and support you build. They were lying the whole fucking time. They don't got shit. All they do is ask for shit and that's how they have money. It's like a money hungry materialistic person. Whatever they have, they get it from others. Whatever they have, they con others to get it. Whatever they have, they receive from others. They don't build on their own. You feel me? Whoever this person is, is a really big problem. And this is going to be a big problem going on here when you come face to face with this person because I feel like you want answers. You want this person to answer you. This person is not giving you no answers, no direct answers. This person is giving you a lot of like running around. You don't know what the fuck to do. So you're standing confident and firm, but you still got a blindfold. This person has tied you up in some type of way and I'm going to say witchcraft. I'm sorry. I'm going to say it. They've tied you up in some type of way. They have you thinking too much. And it's come to the point where you're going to hit revenge on this person. And this person is going to get three fucks. They're going to hit revenge right back. It's a person that's used to doing this. A person that likes the fuckery with the tower here. They like all this drama. It's like all they know. They don't know any better. Hold on a minute. What else for Capricorn here? This person's plotting, meditating, and plotting every single move they're going to make to cause a problem for you. Darkness into darkness, the key to our mysteries. You need to go into your dark side, Capricorn. You need to go into your dark side and look at the darkness and open your eyes. Your eyes are closed right now. You need to open your eyes and see what this person is doing causing all these problems this person is manifesting a lot of things your way that are not good i cannot make shit up you need to open your eyes and realize what this person is doing because at the end of the day whether you move on from this person or you don't they're still going to be in your energy trying to cause problems they're manifesting things here against you 
this person is a person that stands very firmly in their ground. They do a lot of witchcraft. I'm picking it up. A lot of witchcraft. Mostly at night. They have help. There could be three people they deal with here. Fuck. I hate when this shit comes out because it, the fuckery doesn't stop. But they could be dealing here with three people. And this isn't the energy that they have you and They have you stuck. Look at everything around you. So much fucking fire. They have you stuck here, Capricorn. And this is not for every Capricorn. So if it doesn't, if this doesn't resonate to you, it's not your reading, okay? Go to your moon, your rising. I do them all, okay? It doesn't have to be for every um, Capricorn here. But, man, this wheel is going to turn into a direction. If you do not move out away from this energy or just, like, ignore this person and just keep on moving, they're going to be causing problems back to back. And even if you move on... They're still going to cause problems because at the end of the day, they're doing witchcraft, which is a motherfucking problem. They don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you moving forward. They don't want to be, they don't want to see you stable. They don't want to see you turning over to somebody else. They don't want to see you, you know, built for yourself and make yourself happy. They don't want to see you turn. They don't want to see you built. All they want to see you is, okay, I don't know what this person has against you. But there's something very, very strong that this person has against you. This person's against you all the way. I don't know if this was a one night stand or this was a person that you were with. And, you know, it was just like, you know, a sex thing. Friends with benefits or whatever the fuck it was. And they fell in love with you or something happened here. But I feel like... They left you really fucked up. I feel like you fell in love with this person. And they left, you fu they left you fucked up. But I feel like for some reason they're holding something really tight in their chest. That they can't let go. It's like revenge. I want revenge on Capricorn. Hmm. Hold on a minute. Let me confirm this. Because I know what it is. But I want to confirm on camera because... You know, my personal readings are different. I don't do personals on camera. And I don't even work with tarot on personals. But there's a lot of witchcraft thrown here. That's probably why you're stuck like that and you're feeling bad. If you're feeling bad and you're feeling out of your place, you're feeling uncomfortable, you're feeling like nothing's moving, the abundance is stopping, your money's stopping, your work is, you know, fucked up, you know, nothing's moving forward. It's only drama, fights, you know, family fights. Fights with friends, fights with anybody, and nothing's moving to your direction the way that you want it, you already know voodoo's in there. I'm telling you, there's voodoo in here. This person has been manifesting you all the time with voodoo. Whoever it is that you met here, whoever it is that you're dealing with here. Flip the roles if you want to people. Okay, whoever's cross-watching, it could be for the cross-watcher. But whoever here, you were dealing with Capricorn... They've been manifesting with voodoo this whole time. They don't want you with somebody. It's like... The energy that I'm picking up is like... You were dealing with somebody here. A person that was confident. A person that, you know, stands in their place. A person that doesn't take shit from nobody. You feel me? And I feel like this person, at one point, felt, felt this way. Because of that other person. And they came back for revenge. I feel like they feel jealousy or something about a person that is very confident. A person that doesn't give three fucks, doesn't take shit from nobody. A person that stands very firm, knows what they're doing, and can get real nasty. A person that doesn't take shit from nobody when they know what they want. They've been manifesting here a lot of people. Let me see something. Minera, aquí en brujería, usted me lo está diciendo. Why? What's going on with this, um... With this Queen of Wands here. Why is she doing voodoo? Look at this. I cannot make this shit up. Wow, bro, look at this. I cannot make this shit up. This person wanted the Ten of Cups with you. It didn't happen. They wanted to be with you. It didn't happen. You wanted to be with this person. It didn't happen. You were manifesting on somebody else. That had it all together. 
here it is again. You knew this was happening, Capricorn. For some of y'all, you knew. This person came and manifested a lot of witchcraft and voodoo, magic, all over the fucking place. They're trying to manifest you with voodoo. They're trapping you. Like I said, somebody here traps somebody. That means they tie you up. You're only thinking about this person. You're only crying about this person. You're only, for some Capricorns, not for everybody, you know, it's like you can't get this person out of your head. It's not you. It's the voodoo. There's no happiness here. There's no family here. There's no future here with this person. This is only magic. The Ten of Cups in the reverse image. Like, this is ridiculous. If you can't stop thinking about this person, you already know this person is manifesting you with witchcraft, voodoo, spell work, however you want to call it. Show me this person, Minera. No, show me what's coming for Capricorn next. This is what I want to know. Listen, people, like, this person has caused so much towers and towers and, and towers after towers in your life, in your energy, with your family, with your friends, with people you call family. That is fucking crazy. And this person doesn't give three fucks about you or about anybody because I'm picking it up. This person doesn't give, it's not only about you. It's the person that doesn't give a fuck about anybody. Their family, their friends, you know, their loved ones. If they have kids, they don't give a damn about their kids. This person only gives a damn. Look at this. They don't give a damn about their family. This is a whole fucked up person. Like, who the fuck doesn't give about their family? Who the fuck does not give a fuck about their family? Look at this. The two of cups under the deck, Capricorn. They broke something for you. Something that you wanted with someone. They broke it off. How is this person coming in? I mean, what's next for Damn. Like, she went off. She was through in the air. Listen. Man, this person was trying to take everything. Listen, if you had anything of money... If you had money, let's just say, if you were, you know, a person that has money, a person that worked and made a lot of money, a person that worked and didn't make that much money, they wanted it all. This person was sneaking around, doing some crazy shit and planning and plotting some shit against you. A lot of plotting going on here. You might have owed, they might have asked you for something is what I'm picking up and you never gave it to them. And I felt like, you know, you couldn't give it to them. You feel me? You came to a point where you couldn't. And they took this very personally. I'm telling you, this person is very materialistic. You know, a person that's a son of a bitch, period. Because whoever doesn't care about their kids and their family, man, you got to go. I feel like they manifest also witchcraft on their own family. Voodoo on their own fucking family. Who the fuck does that? This person is very evil. This person is a person that's going to hit so many towers and so many, so much fuckery. I feel like this person is going to end up in a mental institution for some reason. They're, they're going to, I don't know. I, I, she's t My ancestors started cracking up right now. Jesus, don't do this to me. My ancestor is saying it loud and clear. Se van a ver loco o locas. My answer is just saying this person is going to go crazy or they already are crazy. They're going to end up in a mental institution or crazy, period. That's what my answer is saying because of all this fucking they're doing. You do not do all this damage to so many people. They're going to drop their guard at some point. They're going to drop their guard at some point and the loyalty they have around them, whoever they have around them that has their back, is not going to have their back no more and somebody's coming in. And I feel like this is Queen of Wands coming in. Man, there's a lot of chaos going on here. It could be physical fights. It could be spiritual warfare. It could be anything. Somebody is going to come face to face. It might be you and this person. It might be the other person you've been thinking about in this person. I don't know. But it's not. It's going to get ugly. This person's only looking for money. 
This person will be paying people to do things to you, Capricorn. You're stuck right now. It's like you can't move, you can't think, you can't eat, you can't drink, you can't. It's like you're laying there and doing nothing. While this person is having a great old time. You feel me? They're taking money from a lot of people here. I feel like this person is doing a lot of illegal stuff here. This person is moving very slow. Very secretly and very slow with the Knight of Pentacles. I'm not even reading the card. My ancestors in the back screaming the fuck out of her lungs. Capricorn, whoever you're dealing with here, whoever you were, I feel like they're doing something illegal. They're going to get caught. This person is very money hungry. And I feel like you, you offered something to them and you didn't give it to them. And this is why they're all, they're mad. Like, listen, if you can't give a person something, a home, stability, whatever the fuck it is because you're going through it, it is what it is, yo. Like, you can't be throwing voodoo at people and fucking throwing shit and sending people to watch you. Probably paid people to watch you. Because I feel like this person, and I don't want to say this because I don't want to offend anybody. So if it doesn't resonate to you, it's not yours. I feel like whoever you were dealing with here might even sleep for money to do fucked up shit. It's a very unstable and a very fucked up energy that I'm picking up here. There's so much more to say here that I'm not going to say on YouTube, but this person is really, really fucked up. They're going to end up crazy. You cannot play with voodoo like this. Answers will come after you. Ancestors will come after you, guides, deities. Everybody has their protectors. Everybody has their guides. Everybody has their deities. You cannot be doing this, people. They're going to go after you and fuck your whole world up. You might fuck somebody up really bad. They're going to get out of it one way or the other. But whoever did this and whoever keeps doing it and wherever it comes out of my videos or everywhere in the world, they're going to go through it. And this person, I'm telling you. She's telling me they're going to lose it. Mineira, what advice do you have here for Capricorn? What else? This person's a whole big fan. She gave you three. Let's see what it says. It says magic. Make a wish. Believe in miracles. Magic surrounds you. So get into your own intuition. Get into your own magic. Get into your own thoughts. Okay? Things do happen. Miracles do happen. Go inside of yourself. Study yourself. You know, see what you're feeling. You know, go into your own magic. Help your, to have your guides help you. Okay? Wish to the universe, to your guides, to your ancestors, to your deities, whatever you believe in. Okay? You have a lot of um, guides surrounding you. All you got to do is ask for them to help you. Make them an offer. Give them something and they will help you. Intuition. Listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divination tools to help you. I cannot make this shit up. I can't. Use divination tools to help you decide. Trust your intuition no matter what. Right here, this is what I throw down when I do personal readings with my ancestors. This goes in my cauldron. I throw them down. However they come out is how I know my answers and what she's giving me, okay? These are type of divination tools. There's so many in the world. There's thousands of divination tools. Okay, some of you need to go and use divination tools. Okay, trust your intuition, trust your guides, listen to the whispers. These are your guides trying to tell you something. This is the whispers in your heart. This person was never meant for you. This person came in here to hurt you. Whatever they promised you, whatever you know they wanted from you, whatever they told you, whatever they did, they were lying. And because they got caught up with somebody else that they're jealous of. <clears throat> a person that, you know, got their attention for some reason, they started the voodoo and the magic. Trust your intuition no matter what. Your intuition is always going to be right. Those are your guides. Awareness. 
Live in the moment. Be conscious of your thoughts. Look for signs and guidance. I cannot make this shit up. She do three. Through all the videos, she hasn't thrown three. Look for guidance and advice. Go to somebody that knows to guide you. Okay? Be conscious of your thoughts. Don't get don't get out of these thoughts. Don't stay stuck in here. Okay, because this person has you stuck in there. Get out of those fucking thoughts. Get up. Live in this moment. Be conscious. Look for signs from your guys or look for guidance. If you can't see the signs, if you don't know the signs, if you know how to fix it, look for guidance. It's telling you very clearly. I cannot make shit the shit up. This person is not only doing voodoo at you, they're doing it at everybody that surrounds you. And, you know, if they get mad at one of their family members, they will throw their family members too. That's the type of fuck of this person is. They're going to bump into the wrong one. You just can't be throwing voodoo people at people. You're going to bump into somebody that ain't going to take that shit that has more power than you. And they're going to fuck you up really bad. And then you're going to ask questions. Why am I fucked up, bitch? Because you want to fuck somebody up. What do you think? Guys don't come and retaliate? Guys retaliate. Didi's retaliate. Man, they retaliate. This is a fuck crazy shit. The Capricorn, what the fuck? Listen, there's going to be a lot of trouble here in your home. If you do not remove yourself from this person, there's going to be a lot of fights in your home between you, your family, your friends. There's going to be things that are going to be happening around you that you don't even understand. And it's all because of this person doing all this witchcraft. You feel me? Like, if you're having trouble in your home right now with your family and friends and you don't know what the hell's going on, it's the voodoo. It's a black... I'm sorry. It's a dark spirit that comes inside your home. And it's said for one reason, but that one reason becomes a thousand reasons because that spirit only understands bad. So it starts damaging everything around you. You start fighting with your family members, your friends, your work starts um, getting fucked up, your car doesn't move, there's something every day going on, negative. You feel me? And it starts, it, it's taking people out. I'm not even going to lie here. I'm not trying to scare you or saying you're going to go out. It's going to take you out, but I've seen people go out with voodoo. You can't be playing with this shit, man. Get out of this fucking energy and get away from this person. What is the message here, Mineta, for Capricorn, for this spread? What else? What else? What else? Anything else? One more. Okay, she's like, oh my God. Listen, whoever here, um, this person uses their hands a lot, okay? Of course, they're doing voodoo, but they use their hands a lot for some reason, okay? That could be a confirmation. Getting played, you get what you give. This person feels like you played them, so they played you back. This is going on here. Like I said, somebody came in here, they got threatened of. Another person, they got threatened by that person, and they started throwing voodoo. You at that person, at their, at everybody surrounding you, everywhere. You know, getting played. They think you played them. You might have just played them. Capricorn, you might have been talking to someone that you really wanted to talk to, and this person was just, you know, friends with benefits, somebody you were messing with, and they get they took it to a whole other level. But I feel like you both had plans here being together. You feel me? It's not like something like a one night stand and go. No, you guys were making plans for some shit here. I can't find you anywhere. No one compares to you. You were good to this person, Capricorn. They can't find you anywhere. They're going to get it. They're getting karma right now. Let's give me reverse. Can we just try one more time? Love conquers all. This came in reverse. They're going to come with this fuckery. That love conquers all. Can we try one more time? It's a trap. Be careful who you're dealing with Capricorn because the way that I wrote these cards is for a reason. I wrote them and I wrote them with my ancestors and my deities. And the way that I wrote them, I know how they're coming out. There's a trap. They're going to try to trap you by saying they love you and you're going to fall into it. You need to be careful. I can't forget you no matter what I do. Did you put a spell on me? <laughs> I cannot make this shit up. You're a motherfucking tribe. This person is capable of telling you. Did you, Capricorn, put a spell on me? 
<clears throat> when they're actually the ones doing spells on you. Man. Like, listen. <clears throat> I can't. I love my guides. And X is affecting this relationship. You see what I'm saying? They got jealous of somebody. It might have been one of your exes, one somebody you were that you were in love with, one of your exes, somebody you were married to. It doesn't matter. They felt threatened by this person, and they threw voodoo, and they fucked everything up for you because they were they felt threatened, and they they were not gonna give you happiness anyway since the beginning. It's like this person does this to everybody. It's a really bad energy. I messed up and had sex with one of your friends. Yeah, I'll take that how y'all want to take that. Like, this person's capable of doing anything. I'm hiding the way I truly feel. So this person's hiding how they feel. They don't want happiness with you, and they're hiding it. They're telling you otherwise. You feel me? They've been playing the whole time. This person's a whole fuck up. Hold up. You could be dealing here with any air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius, um, any fire sign. Okay, hold on, because I forgot. I just remembered. Okay, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Aries, Leo, um, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo again. Let's see. What I have down here, I forgot. Oh my God. This person's a whole fuck up, man. Like a whole motherfucking fuck up. Capricorn, a lot of earth here. Okay, and Capricorn, let me see. I won't let you be happy with anyone else. You belong to me. This person is very selfish and they don't even mean this. Once they get you back, they'll release you. Once they let, they get you back and you only think about them and you only fall in love with them and you only want them, they're going to turn their back on you. They already did. That's what they're going to try to do when they come back trying to talk about this work things out. My God, this person. I haven't found happiness with anyone else. My ancestors saying que todo aquí es mentira. Everything here is a lie. They're going to try to come back. Offer you, let's get back together, let's try it out because all the, everything they're doing here, man, is all like playing games like a child, not even a child, like a fucking narcissist. Is what I'm picking up here, like who the fuck throws fucking voodoo at their fucking family, bro, at anyone, but damn, like your family, like what the fuck. I don't know, man. Like, this is first, middle, last finish for you, this person in my blood. I just heard it in my blood. I don't know this person says a lot in my blood, but I just heard it in my blood. Hold on. First, middle, last initial for you, this person. What were you thinking about? Whoever this other person is, they're threatened by whoever it is. It doesn't matter. Even um, nicknames, y'all remember. Okay. I don't know why I keep on hearing in my blood. Hmm. Check this purse. I mean, I don't know. Y'all need to, some of y'all just, if you feel anything weird or anything that could be affecting your health, just go check your blood. You got an F. You got a D. You got an E. You got an H and an I. You got an A. You got another A. You got a Y. You got another I, H. Okay, it's an I and an H, people. You got another A. Very significant. This A here is dope. It's triple A. You got a W, which could also be an M. You got an O, and you got another H I. Okay, this is very significant here with along with the A. So since we got three H I's, I'm gonna flip this one. It stayed into an H I, so that's very significant here. This H I, let me flip it. You got an O, another O, 
Let me flip this H I. You got a G. G. And you got an O. That's two O's you got already. Okay, so look, it flipped into an H I. It's very significant here, this H I, okay? Let me flip it again. You got an O. Look, it went back to an O. So it was meant to be an O. Okay, you got three A's. Let me flip this one one by one. You got an R. Ooh, it went back to an A. Flip it again. So it was an A. When, it was an R. Went to an A. Went back to an R. Now, when, now it goes back to an M. This A. You got two more A's. Let me flip this one. Okay, you got a T. All right. So let me see. You got two O's here. Let me flip this one. See what I can get you. You got an N, which could also be a Z. All right, Capricorns, I don't know what the fuck's going on here. This shit's crazy as fuck. This person's really shady, dark, and a person that is evil. Period, the motherfucking N. If you're dealing with this person, if you're not, if this is the past, then it's the past. If you're not dealing with a person like this, and this is not your reading, leave it behind. It's not your reading, okay? I do moon and rising. I do all planets. So go and look for your moon, okay? This is not your reading. Don't try to make it fit. Don't try to, like, make it your reading, okay? Because all the readings are not going to be for the same person, all right? So I'm going to wish you the best of luck, okay? And I'll see you um, later in my lives.